Hey everybody, how you doing? It's your boy, uh, One Sneaker Nation, representing The Drop, one half of The Drop. Uh, shouts to uh, partner Sneaker Ambassadors. I'm here with a great guy right here, Mr. Josh McGinn, aka SB Addicts. So, um, we're here to talk kicks. Yeah. So without further ado. Thank you for having me. Uh, hi everybody, as John said, um, I am Josh, aka SB uh, Addicts on Instagram, so at SB underscore Addicts, I really appreciate you having me on today. Yeah, no problem, no problem whatsoever, so, you know, uh, tell everybody a little bit about, uh, you know, how long you've been into the sneaker uh, thing, the, the culture okay. and all that good stuff. Okay, so um, I'm a lot older than I probably look. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, but no, so I'm, I've am i been into sneakers for just about as long as I can remember. Right. So right. Um, I have the, the first pair of shoes that I remember getting uh, that was significant to me um, was actually Reebok Pumps. Wow. And there was a place, and I grew up in Peachtree City, yeah. uh, which is just a little bit south of the airport. Mm -hmm. And so there was a clothing store there called Smith & Davis in Fayetteville. Wow. And so um, my parents were not about to pay 160 probably was nowhere near that much. Oh, I, it seems like it now. I think we have the same parents. Yeah. <laughs> So it was probably 90 bucks or something right. like that. Um, but anyway, at the time, um, that seemed like, you know, $2,000 to them or something like that. Sure, so sure. Um, my dad was actually closing attorney in town, and I forgot I did some kind of chores or something um, that he agreed to go up to Smith and Davis with me. And he, since he was an attorney in town, he actually right. traded work. For the shoes, get out. So, People don't yeah, do that anymore. They don't. The barter <laughs> system doesn't, you know, it doesn't happen a whole lot. But yeah. he, um, you know, that was a really big deal to me sure. um, from there. And so, you know, I had uh, there was a little bit of a lull in my collection because okay. I had children at a very young age. But probably, I would say eight to ten years ago mm -hmm. um, is when things really kicked off uh, for me again and the name SB Addicts obviously SB's is my first love that's what really reinvigorated my love for shoes nice. more than anything nice nice so growing up I guess what was that pair that you had to have then I guess oh god so growing up the pair that I had to have that uh, I never talked my dad into uh. were were Jordan ones Jordan ones were always uh, just that and it really didn't matter the colorway. Obviously, sure. the, the OG red or red and black was a uh -huh. pair that I always wanted to have. But um, yeah, I got my pumps. <laughs> <laughs> I got my pumps. Now, so the great thing though, uh, uh, from becoming an adult, as you know, is yeah. you get to have your own money and you, you get go. to buy your own shoes. Spend it how you feel. That, absolutely. Great. As long as the wife's on board, then that's oh, the. Oh, there you go. She's the other boss. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's few right. of us know about that. So. <laughs> And that's fine. So you and I, we met through a sneaker group, right? I believe we did. And we're in probably six or seven or eight or nine or ten or twenty. Yes. Um, ourselves. So the Bigfoot I, groups. Absolutely. Absolutely. Size yeah. thirteen. That's who we are. Um, any value in those groups for you? Uh, absolutely. Um, so I, I think that I've made some of my best friendships that are sneaker related and outside of sneakers because of those groups um obviously as you said i met you through one of those that groups did. That uh, did. which has been amazing but i i think you know you hear people talk about creating circles and you know creating these friendships right, and so right. You know, just one of the shoes that you and I were talking about before this, uh, the new Dornbecker um, SB that came out. Mm -hmm. um, I received a retail assist on those as a result of a relationship that I developed through one of those groups. Right. Um, so I will tell you, I feel very blessed to be in a couple groups that exclusive sounds snooty, uh, but... It, it's a little bit more difficult to well, get into well, just based on well, reputation. I mean, you know, I think it's a great, a great word yeah, to use. Sure. So certain things need to be exclusive because you hey, just don't amen. need everyone in there. Amen. You know, some people take advantage of and don't necessarily like to help out others. They just 
Dementors, that's what I call them. Is that from the Harry Potter movies? I <laughs> think <laughs> they suck all the life out of you and don't really add any value back. So. Yeah, I think it yeah. may be. I think it may be. And, um, you know, that that's a great point. And that's actually one of the places where I was going to go with this is mm-hmm. that, you know, I, I've found a lot of fantastic value out of the groups and met a lot of fantastic people. Right. Um, I will tell you personally that since the, um, I guess you would say, the uh, arrival of places like StockX and GOAT on the scene, um, people are now able to sell anonymously Mm -hmm. where they were not able to do that before. And so I think sometimes um, some of those assists might be going to, assists might be going to someone else now. But, you know, in the same respect, I think it's also shown truths shown me and other people mm-hmm. other people's true colors right uh, because you still see those those people that you've met and developed great friendships with that you sure. know that you can still count on and that sure. they can count on you very nice very nice so you've been doing this for decades obviously um i guess some people would consider you an og right <laughs> yes all right so old for sure <laughs> or original <laughs> we're not going we're not going to go okay, that far okay but <laughs> uh, I guess what I want to say is, is like, um, what what do you say to the, the the new enthusiast for sneakers? What do you say to them? Okay, you know the, I think the main thing that I would say um, to the new sneaker enthusiast and people that are new to the game is, unfortunately, and you know you've really seen this. Uh, We talked about SBs just a minute ago. You've really seen this over the past couple weeks um, with the re-release of the uh, lobsters, the purple and green lobsters. Oh, yeah. So back in the day, one of the things that was great about SBs is you wouldn't necessarily know they were coming out until a new catalog came out or your local shop called you and told you that something was coming out. Right. Uh, Right. People camped to get those releases. People connected with other people to get those releases. And... Um, resale absolutely existed so I I don't want to say that that's a new thing Um, Mm -hmm. but unfortunately there are a lot of people that are getting into it now not out of the love so that that's painful when you truly have a love for a shoe model Mm -hmm. and the only way you can get it is by paying God knows how many times retail so it's a little difficult so with that being said are you of the philosophy of if you can't beat them join them so, um, if you can't, now I, I will tell you that personally, I have never personally, uh, used a bot to purchase any shoes. Yeah. Um, and you know, I, I think the reason why I have not gone down that route mm-hmm. is that if I am going to <laughs> talk to other people about, <laughs> Hey man, these, these bots are killing us <clears throat> and everything. If somebody finds out that I'm running a bot and that I'm using it to grab pairs that other people might be going for, right, you know, right. their their opinion of me might change a little bit. And, you know, that's that's a really important thing to me. I, obviously, um, I not that I care what people think, but mm-hmm. I just want to stand behind what I stand for. No, that makes um, sense. And so, anyway, I, I you know... <sighs> I personally, I, I would rather strike out on a release and potentially be able to make another connection that can help me out with that. Yeah. I mean, I had someone that helped me out uh, with Purple Lobsters that I paid a little bit over retail, but I didn't pay anywhere near stock X or GOAT price. So, right. you know. There's so-called, yeah. quote-unquote, market there you value. Go. There, so. mar- market <laughs> value, exactly. I'll tell you, that, that's, that's amazing. Uh, let's segue into that real quick. Okay. You know, when... You try to get a pair and, you know, maybe you just say, hey, well, yeah, I'd like to get this for retail. You, you might put that out there now. The sure. But then people are like, oh, that's not realistic. You need to go to StockX. <laughs> you know, you need to pay this. What yeah. is, you, you know, I, I don't know. Those people really, like, get on my nerves. Yeah. What, what about for you? Yeah. No, they do. Yeah, so are you referencing the people that say they want the, which people are you referencing? The people? I, well, the naysayers, I guess. Okay. Because... You're established, right? Sure. And you have a lot of great connections. You know a lot of good people that are willing to help you out. Sure. Any given time. Right. So for you to put that out there, see, I put that out there before for a certain period. Yeah. You get laughed. Laughed at. Right. Essentially. But I got my 
pair for retail. <laughs> awesome, good. You know, I got my pair for retail. You, you show it, and they're like, oh, I'm just in disbelief. But it's those people. Yeah. You know, I, I guess it's one of those things, like to just rub it in their face. But <laughs> how, how do you feel about those type of individuals? Yeah, so uh, I, I know, now that, now that you clarified that, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. And so I, I uh, so that gets under my skin uh, when somebody like you makes a post saying, hey, uh, I and, and you're not necessarily saying, hey, I've helped 24 of you before if you right. could help me on this one thing. Right, right. You're not saying that, but you know, people know you. They know your reputation. They certainly. know you've certainly helped me several times before, which I really appreciate. No and so, you know, it, it's, it should be a reciprocal relationship. Should be. Um, with that said, you know, I know that you're not the type of person, and I learned a long time ago that if I'm going to help somebody else, I'm not doing it to get something in return. There you go. Um, because with a lot of people in this scene, you're going to be sorely disappointed mm -hmm. uh, if that happens. But it, to to go back to your question, you know, I kind of just shrug those people off. Because as right. you said, you got the pair you were looking for. Certainly. If you hadn't have made the post, it, you wouldn't have made, most likely wouldn't have gotten them. So That's right. That's anyway, right. I, I just... Uh, I have found, just from my experience on Instagram, Facebook groups, typically it's resale, resellers that laugh at you, <laughs> which again, there's resellers have a certain place in the marketplace, Yeah, they do. Um, they but do. Uh, it's going to be them, it's going to be younger kids. I mean, I'm telling you, some of the messages that I get on Instagram right. uh, from younger kids, I got one the other day that blew my mind. Uh, but anyway, that that's a total different aside. <laughs> um, so anyway, it's just, I, I say, you know, if, uh, if you're someone that has established your reputation in the scene, you've developed those connections, right. then put it out there. You have nothing to lose uh, by doing that. And don't worry about what other people say. Boom. You, you yeah. guys heard that first. So <laughs> take that and make the most of it. So you. Um, you have a very diverse collection. Thank you. Uh, from runners to, man, um, lifestyle sneakers and... Yeah. You know, some Jordans around in here, skateboard shoes. Sure. I mean, we have very similar tastes. Um, Men of wow, good taste. What a, what yeah. a collection. What <laughs> Thank a collection. you. Thank what, you. What, are, what are some of your favorites out here? Um, so, uh, let's see. If I were to pick uh, a few favorites. So, here's one uh, right in between us here. The, the AM90 duck camos. Um, you're, just pull, you're just gonna yeah. pull these out of the <laughs> yeah. oven. I, oh, yeah, okay. we we can pull okay. them out of the okay. out of the oven if All you right. want to. So wow, um, yeah. I just this is a pair that I was lucky enough to get recently for a very what I thought to be a fair price. Certainly, especially when you you know been talking about StockX and <laughs> I, I mean these you know shoes uh, on on the open market are are extremely expensive. These so, are grails. Yeah, a absolutely, I right. think so, and they've always been one of mine. Yeah. Um, I was lucky enough to connect with somebody that I met in one of the groups that mm -hmm. had these for sale for a fair price. Right. Um, and he had two pairs, and I got one of them. So um, just the, the duck camo is something that I've always been a big fan of. Now, um, now that was a pack when these kind of, kind of came out. The other one was a snake version. It wasn't on the Air Max 1, I do believe. I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, I believe so. Man, so. these are just... Yeah, and I mean, as you can see, Very the... Nice. Uh, the, the swoosh or, or the check snake on these skin. is mm -hmm. snakeskin. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's just a great, great overall pair. And I think I'm um, trying to think. So these released in 2013. So five years old and uh, still in fantastic clean? shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah you... absolutely. Some people would say I didn't wear them enough, I well, guess. That's a win. Uh, so beautiful. there you go. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, just... I mean, going up two spots here, the moon landing AM9. Wow. With the lunar outsole? Yeah, the lunar outsole. Um, Amazing. Those are great shoe as well. Do you the, remember how the drop came for these? Yeah, I think it was on, uh, was it on Nike? Uh, God, what did they, I think it's gone now, that Nike. RSVP? Was it RSVP? Yeah, it, it, it was. On Twitter? Something like that. Okay. I, I know that I tried for them and. <laughs> It, that was a joke. Yeah, it was. Um, it was. So, uh, I actually, this is a pair that I got for a very fair price, too. I think I paid right. 300 bucks for these or something like that. Um, so and Now, for a size 13, it's no less than a 1000 Yeah, I'd say so. So, anyway, and I mean, that for especially for the materials, um, for this to have no creasing, that's what's incredible about these shoes is that um, 
it, it, you would think with this material they would just crease like that. So but most of the really upper, that's like a 3M? Yeah, the the entire, if, if you were to take a flash picture mm -hmm. of this right now, I mean, it just shows up as the surface of the moon lit up, wow. basically. So Amazing. Uh, Amazing. it's great. So uh, let me, okay, so let's see. A couple other, so I'm also a big fan of AM1s. Mm -hmm. uh, these Huff Quakes here, mm -hmm. Uh, these are definitely a favorite of mine as well. Just this definitely. green, gray, and black combo. Wow. Um, and I think, God, that's, these, that's these are pair. definitely, oh, thank you. These are, geez, these are 2007. Right. So these are 11 years old. The air bubble is a little bit cloudy. A little cloudy. As you can see there. But, you know, just, um, that's what happens. Let's see here. So I definitely got to uh, pull out some... Um, SBs here, so I'm trying to think the, so, oh, actually, you know what, so I've got, can I pull this out really quick oh, here? Oh, most definitely. Yeah, absolutely, yes, okay, yes. so let me just, I've got a couple things here. This is your world, you make it spin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's a couple things here that I will pull out really quickly okay. for us, so one of these, and um, one of these here, these are I'll show you the lace bag attached right, do we on need, these. Do I need uh, the fire extinguisher? <laughs> you may, you may. <laughs> is that is, you this may. is what we're doing? So the red lobsters. Yes. So the red lobsters, which as you know, the greens released today. The purples about what a week or two mm -hmm. ago. About two weeks ago, right? Yeah. So there's been what five colorways now, I believe: yellow, uh, blue, red, green, and purple. Right. And these um, are DS. Those are DS, lace bag attached, which th there's a story behind that. I wear yeah. my shoes, yeah. and I absolutely will wear these. So um, I traded uh, someone, I actually traded someone a pair of cream uh, Yeezy V2s for these. And this not has, uh, yeah, not a bad trade. So out of the uh, out of uh, shot here is, mm -hmm. uh, it's actually the special box pair. So it comes with a lot of extras from concepts. Love the trinkets. Just very, Love absolutely. Them. Love them. And that's something that, unfortunately, a lot of people have gone away from. But I agree. Um, so these are skunks. This is, so this is definitely a very love or hate shoe. Uh, a lot I of love people it. think, I, I love it too. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, just the materials, if, if um, the materials on that are just crazy to me. Just the nappy suede and um, it's just an wow. absolutely incredible shoe. But I would say that's probably, in my collection, that's probably my all-time favorite yeah. Uh, yeah. SB. This is a right now iconic pair. I, it in is an iconic, iconic pair. SB, in the SB realm of things. So it is an iconic pair. Love so it, I man. love. Thank you. Um, and then I think you know just one or two more here. You know, as you said, I'm I am a big fan of runners. Now oh, I've got a. I would be remiss not to cover these. So this pair actually got me into runners. True favorite of mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I like this one better than I like the other pair that came out with the it. red, the all red, the pair. all red pair. I I agree with you a hundred percent. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I I actually had the all red pair mm -hmm. and sold that pair, uh. But I I remember so so little shout out to Premier, uh, mm -hmm. Premier Skate in Michigan is uh, I I would say that's my favorite skate shop mm -hmm. in America. Right. Um. And one of the reasons is they get some, they've had some incredible collaborations. Oh, I agree. Uh, oh, Saucony, uh, Nike SB, um, you know, they, um, let's see, God, they've had multiple different ones. And I've had almost all of them at some all point the time. in time. But all the time. when these dropped, the Life on Mars, I remember seeing these. I, I was never really into runners. Mm -hmm. And I remember seeing these. And somebody saying, until you've kind of experienced the the materials and the construction and everything of a quality runner, mm -hmm. you won't understand. I said, oh, you don't know anything. SBs is all I wear. Sure. Because at one time, I, I legitimately was one of those people that was like, if it's not SB, it's, right. it's nothing. Um, and this pair dropped. I struck out hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I forget who I got this pair from. It, it may have been... Um, William from from uh, uh, one Brown. of the groups of Mr. Brown. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I think it, these are fantastic guys. So I think it may have been him, but this pair, man, there's just something about the colorway. So in, in the realm of uh, Saucony, where where do you rank this one? Oh God, it's top three for me. I'll yeah, put that out it, there it is. It, it it may be number one for me, uh, truly. 
So Amazing. I've got these are these are DS burgers as well. Um, that yeah, you know. I need the fire extinguisher. <laughs> but the these so these this is interesting. I kind of go back. I do love the shoe. I kind of go lovely. a little bit back and forth with lovely. it. Lovely. Um, the colors, you know, they're interesting, but mm -hmm. it's a fantastic concept. I mean, that's what I love about Support. runners in general. Right. You know, just right. the concepts that they have, but. It, it really may be number one for me. I yeah, think it yeah. might be. You know, I, I think so. But it's levels when it comes to the whole runner's yeah. realm of things. But It, uh, it really is. The, the colorways are what really intrigued me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I don't, you know, I, I still, you know, it's it's gray and red or orange. Uh, it's funny, I've got a friend, Steve, that argues with me about that. That's orange and not red. Right. <laughs> He's probably right, but... <laughs> Uh, anyway, there was just something about that shoe that when I, and that's one of the things that I just love about shoes Certainly. is that um, if you're really into shoes, every once in a while you see a shoe or a colorway and there's just something that draws you to it. And that, that was it with those. And I was like, I have to have those shoes. Definitely. Um, so anyway. Well, you, you made a comment you mentioned that, you know, you wear your pairs. Mm -hmm. You know, I do too, but I'm a collector of sort as well. Sure. So there'll be a few of mine. I probably will never ever wear right you like that a little bit uh yes absolutely so here here's the thing too is that um when you have 100 pairs of shoes you can claim to wear them right uh, but if you're wearing all of them you're wearing each pair what three times a year pretty <laughs> much like well it just Maybe. depends on your situation right exactly <laughs> no it, it does so i do every once in a while there's a pair though um, like, like I haven't worn these burgers. They're totally DS still. Um, I don't know if I have much else DS, if anything, but, um, because I eventually, one of the things I love about the drop front boxes is I used to have the stacks and stacks of boxes. Gotcha. And so, um, like I know you have a beautiful display with shelves and everything, which is fantastic as well, because a lot of times you can... It's so much easier when you're looking for a pair. You right, put on right. an outfit or whatever fit for the day. You come in and you say, okay, this matches. Versus right. saying, okay, there's 50 orange boxes right here. Right. Where's the one? And I, and I had the stickers before, but still, it's a little sticker. That yeah, big. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, but, you know, I think there's absolutely a, a place for, like you said, it's, it's collecting. Right, I mean, right. collecting shoes is no different than baseball cards or Supreme stuff Without or records or whatever. So, Without anyway, doubt. yeah, I think it makes total sense for people to have. I, I just personally end up caving and wearing them. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So uh, you got a pair of uh, the Dornbecker release. I did recently for the uh, the SBs. Um, I don't know if you want to break those out. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, I'd love to. So uh, as you were saying, I um, again with going back to one of the groups. Yeah. Uh, this is a release that the Dornbecker SB Low is a release since I saw it, especially having the Instagram handle SB Addicts, I was right. really excited about that. Nice. Um, I posted it on my page, got a lot of feedback. The only negative feedback uh, was really from people that hate the Packers. So, <laughs> uh, and I always hesitate a little bit posting uh, Dornbecker stuff because as you know, you know, the organization deals with kids. Mm -hmm. And so I just, it ticks me off a little bit when grown adults put down the design of a, um, you know, a potentially very ill child. Yeah, you know, they don't know anybody. Yeah, they, they don't. And they they just, don't. Just research. Five seconds. There you go. Google, pull it up, and you can see more about There you go. Designs. So, um, you know, just Dornbecker box, freestyle box that it came in. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice, high-quality box, kind of versus your typical... Uh, SB box, which I was happy to see. They've always got your your picture, and so Joey Bates uh, is the young man that designed these. Uh, that's twelve years old, and uh, he has uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So it, it's really cool that the first thing you see when you open these is just the description right. that the young young man or woman that designed them. Nice. Um, and so, yeah, so without further ado, I'll tell you what, I'll hand you one of these All right. if you'd like. You got and it. I'll grab the other one here. Very nice. Um, so, no, this is just, I mean, straight out of the box. Mm -hmm. 
it, it's an incredible shoe. Fresh is out of the whole uh, lineup. I agree. Yeah, I, I really, I really do agree. I like the Camo Two Seventy as well, um, but I think this one really takes the cake for me. Sure, um, I do. And you know, I've been an SB fan for a long time. Right. One yeah. of the reasons why I kind of forayed into runners and different things is that there was a long period um, that SB was really stale, and. They stopped True. releasing quality shoes. Mm -hmm. uh, they stopped releasing good collaborations or collaborations at all. Mm -hmm. um, it was just like, and they weren't even recycling old good ideas. They were just pumping out colorways. And, and, you know, they got rid of the fat tongue. Mm -hmm. They got rid of a lot of things that uh, myself and a lot of people love about SB. Mm -hmm. So when I saw this, I was really excited. Right. Um, and, you know, the... Just the design and construction mm -hmm. is incredible to me. Yeah, superior. Uh, yeah, I mean, you've got the uh, the quilted uh, interior of the shoe here, uh, which is really uh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. We, you know, the, the obviously, insole. yeah, on the insole, on my shoe, I believe uh, Joey put a chicken, uh, which you probably can't see these, but there's a chicken on right. a tank, I believe, on mine. Yeah. And a chicken on a jet right. uh, on yours because Correct. he said he wanted to be a fighter pilot when he grew up. Well, I mean, even stuff down to the metal aglets. So this one says Joey. This one says Bates on it. Same thing. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. There's, uh, I believe, yeah, let's see. There's two pairs of extra laces. This one is came not tied from Nike, but says the uh, same thing just wow. the green laces nice touch. for the green bay packers uh colors it does have a padded tongue mm -hmm. which i love i absolutely love and on the interior of the tongue here at the bottom it does say joey bates here the at one. the at the bottom so nice. i love that um he's got the american flag and i think the nicest touch is the the soles um, and so you've obviously got, this one's completely clear. That one's a little bit more translucent mm -hmm. or it has the, the gradient. Green, yeah, the gradient. That's mm -hmm. Sam. I'm, I'm glad I've got you around for the good, <laughs> the good words. Um, and he's got, he's a big fan of Green Bay and Clay Matthews. So this one has 52, I believe once there on the back of the sole. Oh, and this one has cool 52 on all very over. Cool. So yeah, man, it's a shoe that I'm, I'm really excited uh, to break out and wear it is currently DS, but it will not be for much longer. No, I hear you. Yeah, so I'm I'm really excited Solid to wear. Shoe. Well, yeah. Thanks for sharing. Absolutely I appreciate it. Absolutely. So, so we're about to sum up uh, 2018. So, wh what are your top picks or top grabs, I guess, for this year? My top grabs yeah. for 2018. So, um, let's see here. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look through a little bit here. So 2018 has been a really good year. Mm -hmm. So obviously I covered them. So uh, the the duck camo AM 90s are sure. definitely one of the top grabs. Mm -hmm. I was actually able to get a size 13 yeah. of the Tiger Camo Atmos AM90. Right, right, right. Okay. So these two came out nearly around the same time. They right? did. Yeah. They did. And so these have some amazing 3M on them too. Mm -hmm. um, so those are are really really cool, um, and I enjoy those a lot. So, you know, I'll count these as kind of one pair. But they re-released the Diamond uh, Dunks. Nikki Diamonds obviously did that. I do not have the yellow pair, as you can yeah, see. The canaries, huh? The, no canaries, <laughs> uh, but I did. I was able to get the white and the black pair. And again, you know, it just shows you the relationships. Both those pairs I was able to get for retail, thanks to friends that Solid. helped me out. Solid. So, so how do you feel about the the Velcro? Uh, so I'm actually pretty. I love the Velcro. I like the Velcro. It's a yeah, nice touch. I do. I love the fact that um, you know you can remove it completely, and it's got the Tiffany blue mm -hmm. um, swoosh there. Right. Or you can. I think on mine. If I just show you really quickly here, like I have mine staggered just a little bit below on the so you switch. Can see it, right? Yeah, there you so go. that you can see it. Nice I effect. mean, it's really easy. Pulls right off, pops right back on there. So that's uh, nice as well. Um, I will tell you one of the other cool things that I had done, and it's going to drive me crazy that I can't think of their name right now, but. These are the actually uh, the militia, yeah. So these are the militia. I'm a little 3. salty about this. <laughs> These are the militia three point ones, mm -hmm. 
and I had these soul sw- I just remembered. So I had these soul swapped by Govern. So it's at G O V R N at G O V R N uh, on Instagram. Right. And they have done some crazy soul swaps. Like they're they are really big into the hybrid soul swaps. Mm-hmm. And I think I paid right over a hundred bucks. Um, you can I mean, Dude, you can I mean look at the work. Yeah, this it's is amazing. Fantastic. Because the other outsole on these uh, were. Horrible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Horrible. They were. And so, you know, obviously this is the militia, just the regular militia threes. And you can tell yeah. nothing. No, not at all. So it's, they were meant to it be the really government. is fantastic. Yeah. So um, I do great. have the the salmon 3.1s up there. Okay. And I'm planning on getting those swapped as well. So um, Not to mention the uppers on those, they were great quality. Yeah, they I mean, really phenomenal are. Phenomenal quality. They really are. Ruined by a horrendous soul <laughs> yeah yeah it's terrible ruined soul. by a horrendous soul so let's see here i think um you know i i do obviously um a fan of these i was able to pick up the masters and the you know the paras um uh lovely colorway yes horrible materials in my oh, opinion God, yeah. i own them too look right i mean right there you you i probably wore these for two minutes and you can already see they're going to crease yeah. horribly here yeah. um for such a sought after shoe that's really sad and i'll tell you what this is the second pair the first pair i got mm-hmm. had a glue stain right in the middle of the swoosh oh, right there which was bad but it's beautiful it's bad so Aesthetically you know, pleasing. and then i would tell you just from a rareness standpoint, mm-hmm. uh, these Rivington Club or A Life. Oh yes, um, yes. So I want to say, I can't remember the number. I want to say it's a ridiculously li- low number. Right. Right. Um, so On quantity. The, yeah, quantity wise, mm-hmm. I want to say there may be. Yeah, it's I, low. I, I, it's I think low. I read the numbers before, but I don't recall. Yeah, that. I posted. I want to say it's. I want to say it's under 100 gotcha. in the 60 range, but this is a 12 and a half, and there may be one other 12 and a half in right. the world. Right. Um, so, you know, this this shoe age-wise was, let's see, I can't remember. Anyway. Um, What's a legendary yeah, shoe? Yeah, legendary shoe. Right. Um, absolutely love it. And then that's probably, you know, um, for my, you know, my... <laughs> People that see this that are really big in SBs, they're going to say, oh, why didn't you pick up any more SBs? Well, the thing is, I've been into SBs for so long, and there was such a, a lull in mm-hmm. production mm-hmm. that I have and have had all of my favorite SBs. I have, you know, have Dooms displayed up there as well. Right, right. Um, and so, you know, now... I've had all those, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. I'm picking up the new ones. You know, I have purple lobsters on the yeah. way. I got both the diamonds. I got the Joey Bates DBs. So SBs are absolutely still my first love. Never go. fear everyone. But uh, well, you know, anyway, it, I, 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 I love diversity. Well, it's, that's what I'm about. Yeah. You know, uh, you, you know how similar our tastes are, but I, I have a lot of, you know, one version of, of a type of shoe, but I believe in branching out. Just having multiple pairs of just different different things. Yeah, I, I would agree. You know, I mentioned it earlier. Um, at one point in time, I was an SB snob, right. and I, I legitimately, you know, I, I legitimately would scoff at, oh God, people pay this for Jordans and SB are so nice, <laughs> and people pay this for runners and SB are so nice, and then SB went. And, and everybody was going, wow, where are those nice SBs you're always talking about? And right. I said, look, they're still putting some good stuff out, which they were still every every now and then. But they were. It, again, the great thing about SB, and the last thing I will just say really quickly here, um, I did just pick up this, uh, mm-hmm. I don't know if you've seen this, but it's the uh-huh. Nike SB uh, dunk book right. that just came out. And, you know, unfortunately... Uh, Sandy Bodecker passed away yes, in did. the past year, yep. and Icon. so he was one of the people responsible, if not the person responsible, for putting this book together. So, if you have not grabbed this book, I highly suggest picking it up. Um, I will tell you before anyone puts it in the comments that there are some fakes in here. 
Oh. What the dunks are fake. Um, I believe <laughs> there's a couple of that are fake. Nike SB has addressed it, and they are going to most likely fix it in future versions. Okay, gotcha. They took thousands of pictures. A couple slipped through the cracks. So, How about that? Anyway, um, <laughs> a, a, again, SBs are still my first love, but, you know, it, it is great to expand your horizons. Mm -hmm. And because of me branching out into runners and Jordans and you know, just about just about every type of shoe and Yeezys I was against for the longest and you know, their the last few days have been interesting for them. But anyway, um, you know, I've met some amazing people mm -hmm. that if I had just stuck to SB I wouldn't have met. Right. right. So well, wonderful. So yeah. anyway. well very good. Well very good. So it's S B addicts on Instagram? It's uh, at S B underscore addicts. Got yep. it. And Twitter as well. And Twitter as well, you're correct. All right, phenomenal. So uh, this is uh, One Sneaker Nation, one half of the drop. Shouts to uh, Sneaker Ambassadors. Listen, if there's anything that you um, want us to put out there on social media, whether it be art or customizations or anything that you're doing related to the sneaker community, you know, please give us a shout. That's what we like to do. And, you know, we, we want to thank Josh so much for coming out and talking to us. And uh, you guys be good. Thank you. Have a good one.